Hello guys, not Ace here, and this is gonna be a follow up on my Blaze Blue controversy on the DLC. So uh, yesterday, basically, um, Evo of USA, Mr. Wizard, Mark Julio, they were basically talking about the games that's gonna be on Evo, and they did talk about it on a different vlog. If you remember, links are in the description box. But they also showed a trailer once again, the same trailer they showed in the Arc System tournament about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. And of course, if you remember, the controversy is that the game, the base roster is going to be 20 uh, 20, ros 20 fighters, or the roster is only 20, and then the other 20 is DLC, and the first DLC is Blake Belladonna. But the, the problem I said there was that you're splitting up the main character of Ruby. That doesn't make sense, especially for the Ruby fan. Like, what are you doing? They, they have to pay more just to play the other Ruby character, the other two. So people did say the same thing. I said the same thing. I even basically gave my opinion about it to Arc System Work, and there was uh, basically a reaction to it that Arc System Work said, "Yeah, we heard you. We're getting out something that's going to the right direction." Did they go to the right direction with the new trailer? Technically, the trailer is the same one, but in the end, they basically announced that Blake Belladonna. And Yang, they finally announced. Yes, of course, no, duh. If you know about Ruby, Yang is also DLC. However, both of them, the DLC will be free. And the question is, is it a time limit free or is it free forever? And the answer to that one is, I followed them on Facebook. Arc System World Universe basically stated, yes, both Blake and Yang are free indefinitely. Basically, they're free forever. They're not going to... There's no time limit, they are free. Good move there. Now you got the main four. When are they gonna come? That's a different story, but at least it's free. They don't have to pay extra because again, this it's like saying, Oh well Leo Lardo and Donatello are in the game, but Michelangelo and Raphael, you gotta pay them in injustice, which is you don't. Different story there, but yeah, they're all part of four turtles. They're in injustice too as DLC. It's the same goes with this one now. Yeah, there may be DLC, but they're going to be free. The only down part there, and Mori did say it, that Blake and Yang are still in production. Ruby and Wise are done. That's when they're in the base game. But Yang and Blake, according to Mori, they still need some work. So, they're not going to be at launch. They're going to be like somewhere down the line. Alright, so, again, that's still a good move. So, <clears throat> that's a good thing. It's going on the right direction. However, personally for me, personally, I believe they have a long way to go. Why do I say that? <coughs> Excuse me. One, I knew it. I knew it when the date was May 31st in Japan and June 5th in America. I knew it. They were trying to aim it for EVO because, yes, it's been announced that Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle System will be on EVO. So, yeah, no surprise there. I knew it. I had a feeling that they were trying to aim it for there. And it is there. I guess the Blaze Blue fan, they wanted a new Blaze Blue game because Central Fiction is probably old news. Again, it's not really a big deal, but it is a bit of concern. Why do I say that? Because, again, just like Blaze Blue Central Fiction. It, it was towards catering to the competitors rather than the casual who loved English dub, they enjoyed the story mode, not the online, not the arcade mode, not the challenge mode, but the story mode because it has a robust story mode. And I said it before and I'm going to say it again, the reason a lot of people think this happened is they were persuaded by the competitors. They wanted the game to be released close to each other from the Japanese to the American release. And they were sort of doing this again and I was right with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Yeah, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. <laughs> and there's a reason behind it and apparently finally at least give props to Arc System Work and give props to Mori about it. I do have a problem with him, but not so much of a personal, but business-wise. Because I don't really, I don't really agree to a lot of his method. But I gotta give thanks to a YouTuber called named Mugen Lord. 
If you remember, I'll put the link in the description box about his thoughts about it. And the reason, no, there was more now bigger, the bigger pictures appearing here. And that is the reason why Central Fiction, they wanted to be closed, to, and really from the Japanese to the American, is also they wanted the game to be exposed as soon as possible. They wanted the game to be on people's hand as soon as possible. And yep, the theory with Danny from As the Game said, would you rather have the game now or or six to eight months? And a lot of the casual fans said, Yeah, no shit. I'd rather wait. Do I look like I want to go to Evo? Do I give a crap about Evo? Etc. etc. No offense. There you go. I mean, if the competitor really wanted it, maybe they can import it. You know, the PS4 is region free. I'm just saying, I'm sorry if that I sound like a dick there, excuse the language, but ah, uh, so I gotta give props to Mugen Lord here because he basically revealed and they had an interview with an interview with Mori and they basically said more. And the reason why the game is releasing, like I said, May in Japan and June the 5th in America, they wanted this game to be an evil. Everybody knew that. Again. Like I said, I have no problem with that. My concern is, are you catering to the competitor once again? Okay, so it's a little tricky what Mori Basic said about here. And technically, surprisingly, that wasn't really the case. According to him, his belief, the procedure here is, it's not so much that it wasn't catering to the competitor. He said the reason why he needed the and this is actually this is what he said. It's not he wanted to be released. It needs to be released as soon as possible because Mori basically wanted to at least have people as soon as possible to experience the game. That's why twenty dollars in the base roster and then twenty dollars DLC in the long run. Already they already rectified one thing by making Blake and Yang free indefinitely so you don't you don't have to worry about it. there's no limitation indefinitely again good start oh and another one also I'm gonna add here is uh, I did watch the Arc System Work U Universe the US branch yeah they do have a US branch I think it's starting to open there was a stream about this game a lot of people did ask like I did I give props to those English fan English dub fan of this game, brothers or sisters, you know, people who like English dub like myself, I gotta give them props because they did say the same thing. Is the game gonna have English dub this time? And the guy, a representative from Arc System, uh, Arc System Universe, Arc System Work Universe, excuse me, long name, basically confirmed it. They didn't kind of show it, but they sort of confirmed. They said, Yes, the game will have English dub. I hope he's true. I hope he's not just talking from his ass just to shut us up. But I don't think that's the case. That's very unprofessional. I think he is telling the truth. Because they did show a game in game play of Ruby and. And what's her name? Weiss. And they showed Ruby speaking English while Weiss speaking Japanese. So. Not only that there's English dub, that you can, for each particular character, you can either have English or Japanese. That is actually not a bad idea. Street Fighter did that, so I gotta give props. That's actually, that's a good thing. That's actually a good thing, so I gotta give props to that. But if it's true, hopefully once people get it, once the Max, well, I don't know if Max gets it. Whoever gets early quote unquote access, because I'm not going to get an access early, you know me. I'm just an average Joe who just likes to play a video game and support Arc System Works in their Blaze Blue. You know, you kind of show my video, but different story there. Hopefully, they can show it that it may have English dub. Hey, like I said, paid English dub? Why not? I'm willing to pay for it. I did say it with Central Fiction. Again, just let me recap Arc System Work, Acid Game. I don't care who's in charge of this one yet. Paid English dub DLC for Central Fiction, I'll buy it uh, if it's the right price. If it's $34.99, I'll buy it. Me personally, 
You're hearing my mouth? You're hearing my mouth? I'll buy it. But we'll just have to wait and see what's going on there. But yeah, that is also good news. Not only Blake and Yang is free, but there is English dub. Hopefully that's really true, because like they said, they just said it. They kind of showed it a bit with Ruby, and hopefully everyone has English dub. I don't want to be the one like going to be like stupid Tekken 7, no offense or Rada, or Virtual Fighter 5, that they speak in their native language. For crying out loud, that's just, I'm sorry, that's just stupid. It's stupid. Make them, give them an option to speak English or Japanese. Soul Calibur 2 and so on did it, not one. But Tekken, really? They speak in their native language? Blech! Blech! I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hurl, man. Uh, okay, enough immature there. So, again, that's the good news. Okay, so back to that is that there's a reason why he wanted to release it as soon as possible. You might say, wait, is he really admitting that he wants to rush the game? Well, it's a little bit of a cop-out about rushing the game. Rushing the game, you can see if the game is rushed if it's bad overall. Street Fighter V was rushed because there was no single-player mode and the online was bad. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite overall was bad. The online needs work in the beginning. Yes, that was rushed. If there was, if, if the game, if the game has glitches, uh, I like Assassin's Creed Unity. Then yes, that is rushed. The game is rushed when you're missing some problem and there's an anomaly in the game. That is rushed. But if the game in the get go is perfect and you're doing it like sort of a service i.e. Splatoon granted Street Fighter 5 but it had some problems and you can tell it was rushed Splatoon sort of they also rushed it it is still rushed but I, I kind of sort of call it a good rush it's a compromise of the game's already out but at the same time the developer are still working to add new content Splatoon is free so you can get away with it will, it, will, will Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle have a free updating stuff and again how much the DLC characters remember like I said season pass $20 the main game $40 total $60 then you're fine you're good to go there's nothing wrong there so if the game comes out and there's little, little to minor bit of anomaly then it's okay rushing a game is okay it's only bad and if it showed <laughs> if the game is buggy the game is crap the game's not working then yes, that is what you call a rush game, and you should be concerned. So yes, it may sound like that Mori is rushing the game, but he did say it. Again, props to Mugen Lord. <laughs> Excuse me, it's because they really just want a lot of people to try the game out. Not just the fans, but the casual to introduce to this game. Oh, I, oh, this game looks fun. Oh, it's anime, it's simple, the graphics are dynamic, etc, etc, etc. Then I sort of understand, because um, they even said it, like, the unfortunate really is that both Blake, no, Blake actually is done. I think they're almost done with Blake, it's supposed to be released, uh, like, like, two or three weeks after the game was released, from what I heard, I don't know. But Yang, they have said that Yang's still a long way to go, they're still working on Yang. So, that'll probably be the last character, and she's free. So, there's nothing to worry about it, but it is what it is there. So, I'm a bit disappointed to Mori that the, the direction you're going with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, cutting the deals, the character's roster in half. Again, we don't know about the prize, so it's still up in the air. The judge, it's still, my judgment's still up in the air. But it is, I, I don't like the direction it's going. But if they can rectify that, that problem and it's, it's a minor problem, then, cool. There's nothing wrong there. I just, but I still, I still don't like it as of right now. It's just, I don't feel comfortable him, Mori, doing it this way. That, oh, we gotta, we need more exposure. So as soon as possible, we gotta let people play it as soon as possible. Like that's the key word. As soon as possible. ASAP. I mean, why not just call Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle? ASAP edition. I'm sorry to say, because he was hoping to be on Evo. He admitted it. Mori admitted it. He wanted to be in Evo because it helped him expose the game. So here's the question: Is why is he doing that? What's wrong? That's just like 
no developer should self-respect developer should do that you're rushing the game what do you need that exposure are you that desperate exposure and this is just my theory and the answer is and like what Matt Simmons said and I agree is arc system or game fun they are good quality they are beautiful graphic enjoyable fun if you're an anime fan it's fan excuse me you'll love this game why what's the problem they don't sell no matter what why it's there's like the, the game is so good why they don't sell it's just maybe some people don't like anime maybe some people don't like fighting game and the general consumer when they think of fighting game they only think about two things that's at the very top whether it's a street fighter or a Mortal Kombat whether it's a Capcom game or a Nether Realm game midway say it so you got those other game good they may be they might say well I'm not familiar with this and maybe I'll just skip it and for me even so I know the game I don't buy them in $60 I'm sorry I bought them under $30 Central Fiction had a lightning deal and I bought it for $26 that's even below 50% off so you kind of get there and that's and that's the reason why Mori basically is going that direction I mean I don't like it um, it kind of bothers me but I guess he's doing whatever it takes I mean maybe it sounds desperate who knows I I'm sorry to say that that because one they're doing their own publishing and they need to make a sale because it was even so bad on the trailer believe it or not they, they did like a skit called Road to Evo and the last thing he said on the trailer about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is and he keeps saying this line again and again and again please pre-order the game please pre-order the game please pre-order the game please pre-order the game when you even have to say please to pre-order the game rather than believe in your fans believe the consumer that they're gonna get this or not there's basically your fate of this game may not be good even so it looks good in my opinion yeah Blake and Yang are free English doves confirm hopefully and if the price is right it kind of showed that Maury still like he doesn't really have a bit of a confidence of the game and he's afraid it'll be end up like in like another blaze blue game it goes to the lightning deal or it goes lower price not even within six months like when he basically said please pre-order the game yeah there is something wrong there again I don't agree his direction going to oh we need this game to exposure as soon as possible that's why we're doing it and we'll add this stuff later kinda like a service Splatoon a la Splatoon but if you're that desperate then it is kinda worrisome that it shows you don't have a confidence of your game good it may be but it doesn't have confidence and like uh, well the difference is that yeah Dragon Fighters is Arc System work but they're only the developer the publisher is Namco Bandai and the person who's in charge of the game has a lot of confidence in the game maybe because the Dragon Ball fight it's a Dragon Ball game that's good and it's fun again I know Blaze Blue has been a history of good it may be but ah uh, they don't really sell I mean the history of central like that's such a fiction but the history of baseball game I kinda know it's in Wikipedia the gaps were so big I mean for each game gets closer and closer but they made it so close with central fiction that they, emo em em they omitted dub which is again disappointing but hopefully if that is true that there is English dub I mean go Nintendo basically put a post Nintendo Wire did it and some other my Nintendo News did it if they even said it so I agree with them it was confirmed that there will be dub and if it doesn't there's a clip a lot of people did like a cut and again I always say before I said it again the internet never forget you say something on the internet people record it they're not gonna make you forget so if there isn't a dub whoever that said it there was piss off and what would you like to your fan base to shut them up? I don't like that. So again, that's my follow-up on the Blaze Blue. Yes, uh, they didn't announce the price yet. I knew it. It was something to do with Evo. Kind of. Uh, I knew it. 
A lot of people knew it, I knew it, but at least they are going to the right direction. They included an English dub, it was confirmed. Blake and Yang are free indefinitely. The price will not be full. They didn't say how much yet, but the price is not yet full. Remember, they're still until May. End of May, the beginning of June. Remember, you have to pre-order the game, so they have to announce the price as soon as possible. And this is I'm going to say me personally. If the English dub is confirmed, Yang, of course, and Blake is already confirmed as free. If there's the English dub, and the game itself is $40. $40. Because the season pass is $20, adding up to $60, I'll pre-order the game. But if your game is $50, and you still have to do paid season pass, you got a problem there. You got a problem there. And it kind of showed that it's all about the money. And in order to get more money, you got to cater to the kid, to the competitors. I mean, for crying out loud, two months, really? Do the Blaze Blue competitor players have to, enough time, two months, to understand the game? I mean, a lot of people even said that you could still bomb if they don't do this right. So they got to be critical. I mean, heck, you know, Mr. Wizard got rid of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in the favor of Dragon Ball Fighters, which already proved itself, it's good. Blaze Blue is not even out yet. Who knows? Could be good, could be not. But if a history showed that the past Blaze Blue games were good, then I wouldn't really worry about it. I mean, you can think about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle as in a tournament of Blaze Blue slash Unel slash Persona 4 Arena slash Ruby. Again. So, as of right now, they are going the right direction. Awesome. Hopefully, they still go to that right path. If they don't, it's a little bit concerning, and I'm gonna be disappointed. Like I said, if the price is right, I'll get it. You're already going the right direction, in my opinion, with the free character of Rubies, the Ruby character, and confirm English dub, good. Now, if only Central Fiction you would do it, paid English dub, like I said, and another one is Guilty Gear x Revelator. Question, any new update to the game, like a next chapter, a new story? And for people who don't know what I'm talking about is that the reason why Revelator doesn't have a dub is, according to Mori again, they want to finish the story first. The, the, the entire story of the x storyline. Because it's a long story, they want to, you know, whore it out. They want to finish the story. So when the final game, the final version, which is excerpt, whatever, the final chapter, whatever, that's when they're going to start doing recording for the dub. They didn't want to do it in the middle because then it's kind of do weird. And again, it's one of those, well, we're going to have to exposure, again, again, the, the exposure. Expose the game as soon as possible. Again, with that ASAP mentality, it's not really good, but I guess they're desperate. I don't know what to say. You know, I really don't like that mentality, but uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know what to, I don't know what to think at this point. So yeah, it's a follow-up. As of right now, they're go they're doing great with it. So hopefully by June, because that's when the American version comes out by June. Hopefully, it is a solid game, and it's not going to be like Marvel vs. Capcom. Kind of Just saying that. So that's my thoughts to follow up on Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. With that, thanks for listening.